Welcome back kids. Today we're going to be painting a panda bear with a little bit of bamboo in the background. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you what kind of paints that you need. You can paint along just as fast as me, but if you want to go slower, then you can just push pause and catch up with me after. But let me show you what we're going to need for paint. So you're going to need some blue and yellow, not even that much blue, okay? Like half of that. And then some yellow. Can you see this? I got a blob of white and some black for the panda bear. We're going to mix blue and yellow, and that's what's going to give us the green color. Um, you're going to need some sort of a bigger brush and one of these pointy round brushes. That's all you really need. Um, some paper towel to wipe your um, dirty brushes on and something to put water in that's probably not going to break if you knock it over. And if you're using these kind of crafters paints, they're thinner than mine, so you don't have to add water to your uh, mixtures. Don't put water on your canvas like I'm doing. You don't need to do that. But my paint is really thick, and I'm going to show you how thick my paint is. You might need a blow dryer to dry off at some point. But look at my paint when I hold it there. It doesn't run at all, right? That means it's really thick. So we don't really need to put water in mine, but yours you'll need to thin out a little bit. So how am I going to start this? Let's see. Let's start by drawing his head. And his head is just, as you can see, just a great big kind of an oval, right? So we have to leave room up here for his ears. So we're going to start a little bit lower. Let me see if you can see the bottom of my canvas. There we go. Okay, so there's the very bottom of mine. I am going to do that uh, with gray. Don't want it to be completely black because when we go to paint it white, then we're going to get the black mixed in. So I'm going to take a little bit of black, a little bit of white, and use the edge of your white. Don't go right in the middle because you see you need some pure white in here. If you go right in the middle, then your paint is going to be all gray. We just want it gray at the side. So we keep our plate nice and clean. So now we have a nice shade of gray there. We're going to draw the oval. So I want my ears to be here, and I want my oval. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you make a mistake, don't worry about it, because we can just cover that up with paint. So there's your oval head, maybe a little bit rounder. So now you see there's going to be some gray in there. You might think that's a mistake, but it doesn't matter. We can fix everything with paint. Then you're going to draw some circles for ears. Okay. And then his body, his body is just like, um, kind of like a rainbow. All right. Don't go too far over because we still have to put his feet in. So it's kind of like a rainbow. See that shape? And then we're going to do feet. Feet are just ovals as well. So start right here and draw a great big oval. See how my paint line's in between there? It doesn't matter. We're going to fix it all with paint. And then you're going to make another big oval here. And right in the middle, we're going to do a little rainbow. See that? And then inside of his feet there's another oval you can make that a circle if you want the reason why i'm doing this you guys is because if i did all the background first that'd be all green behind here and it would take a long time to color him in so i'm just going to do that my canvas is wet and it's bringing stuff down let's start with black all right Maybe you're going to need this medium brush too. Something not quite as big. See, this is my big brush. Maybe one just a little bit smaller. If you don't have that one, you can use that little round one you were using. And we're going to go into the black, straight black, and we're going to color in those circles with the paint. Color in those circles. His ears, little round ears, and then do another little round ear. Okay. 
And then we are going, oh, you know what else he needs? He needs this, another rainbow. So I'm going to give him another rainbow, but I can do that with the black. So I'm going to start like in the middle of his foot and go up like a rainbow and then back down. And then everything up here is going to be black. Not his head though. His head needs to be round. I paint a lot faster than you guys, but I have been painting for so long. And I painted so many paintings that it takes me no time at all to paint a painting. You guys just take as long as you need. If I'm going too fast. You can just put me on pause and then start me up again. Don't get frustrated though, if you think you're doing it wrong, because you can always just walk away and come back and do it again tomorrow. I might have to give mine a second coat because my canvas is now too wet. And you don't even have to paint on canvas, you know that? You can go take a cereal box and cut it open or get your big person to cut it open. And then you can use one of the inside pieces as your canvas. Or if you want to paint really, really small, you can paint on a rock. And what else could you paint on? You can just paint on paper and practice until you can get a canvas. I know it's hard and you might want a canvas, but it's hard to go to the stores right now because you don't want to get sick. So don't get mad at mom because she can't go get you a canvas. It's almost against the law. It's really bad out there. You just paint on whatever you got for now. You can do this again, and you know what? The second time you do it, you'll be even better. First time is just practice. This is not a race, and it's not a competition, so you don't have to be better than your brother or your sister or your big person if they're painting to you. I've got all my black is done now. <sighs> so I don't want to put, the reason why I'm not putting his black on his eyes and his nose and stuff is because it's easier just to do the, all the white at once and then wait till that dries. And then we can put his face on once that's dry. So I'm taking all of, you hear that to me? That's me washing my brush out really good. So wiping it on my napkin and I still see some paint coming off. So I squish down in there again. When you go like this and you don't see any black coming off, then you know it's nice and clean. Okay, so I'm going to take, and you're probably not even going to be able to see this, but I know that I'm painting this white. So over that mistake that I thought I made, I'm just going to paint that. going to paint right over that. Careful not to touch your ears because this is what's going to happen. Your ears are wet. You're going to grab that and then you're going to get some black on your paintbrush and you're going to drag black through your painting. So if you happen to do that and you get some black on your paintbrush, wash your paintbrush off before you smear it all over his face. 
to keep that paintbrush nice and clean. This doesn't have to be really, really thick either. It just has to be white. You want it to be white so that it doesn't turn yellow in a couple of years when it's hanging on the wall. All this will turn yellow. That's why we put paint on everything. But keep it nice and thin so there's not any globby lines in there so that it will dry faster. So that we can put the black eyes and stuff on later. And then you're going to do the same in this belly. Careful not to touch the black. Do the whole middle part first. And then go back up and get close to that black. Without dragging it through your white stuff. Oops. Just drag some through. Oop, just drag some through. So if I'm touching here, because I put shadows over here anyways, it's okay if a little bit of gray comes in this side. But if you're going to put gray in here, make sure you do it nice and round so that his belly looks round. So keep going with the rainbow strokes like a rainbow. You don't even have to have that in there though. And then I'm going to cover up these circles inside of his feet. Very careful not to touch the black. If you do, wash your brush off real quick. Start over. Otherwise, you're going to have gray paws. And it's even okay if you have gray paws because you know what it looks like? It's got dirty feet. Looks like he says dirty feet. And that makes sense because they walk on their feet, right? Try not to. And I did. See that gray there? That's what you don't want. That's why we try to keep our brushes nice and clean when we get some black on them. Wash it off. We'll go back over it with some white and hope it stays white. Oh, he's going to have dirty feet. Okie dokie. So now he's all colored in. We're going to work on our background. So for working on our background, we're going to make some green. You're going to take a very, very little bit of blue. Little bit. Just a little bit on your brush. Not a whole bunch. See what I mean? That's way too much blue. And you're going to take a bunch of yellow. And when you mix it together, look what happens. It turns green. Right? Put more yellow in. It turns a different shade of green. Get yourself a nice pile of that. So that's like a yellowy green. I call it lime green. And then we're going to give our panda bear a place to sit. So just above his feet, you're going to draw a line across and a line across. Okay. And then everything under here, go around his feet, go around his feet. Try not to touch the black. If you touch the black, you need to wash your brush off again. And then that's all going to be green in there. Same here. You're going to go up here. You're going to go to the edge. Be careful not to touch the black. Go around his foot. And it's okay if you touch the black and bring a little bit in it. It's not going to kill anything. Just be careful as you can. Careful as you can. Maybe if you're too little, you want your mom or your big person to um, trace around for you so that you don't go over the lines and bring the black in. Get them to do that part because that's tricky when you're just a little guy. Okay, so there it's all traced in. Then all you have to do is just fill all that in with the light green stuff. And it doesn't matter how you put it in. It can be messy. It doesn't have to be straight. It's going to look like he's sitting on a floor when we're done. Or it's going to be sitting on the ground. So 
so the ground can be messy. I'm doing my messy on purpose. And it looks really good. So you don't have to be neat. There we go. Nice messy little bottom there. So the top, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make a little bit more. So you're going to take a little bit more blue and a lot more yellow. And we want this to be darker. So I'm making a darker green here. And I'm going to go around just like I did on the rest of it. I'm going to go around everything with this darker green. Careful not to touch the black. I hope you guys are finding lots of fun things to do while you're out of school because of this Corona thing. I'm stuck in the house too. Did you know that? Yeah. It's been almost two weeks. Well, by the time you guys see this video, it will be two weeks. More than two weeks. So I'm not even home. I wasn't allowed to go home. I had to stay in quarantine, they call it. Just so that I could be sure I wasn't going to get sick and that I wasn't going to make anybody else sick. And I am not sick. So I get to go home tomorrow. And I'm really happy about that. It must be pretty hard not to be able to play with your friends. But I'm betting a bunch of you aren't really sad that you don't have to go to school. Okay, now I've got him traced all the way around. I'm going to take my bigger brush and I'm just going to fill in the rest. Okay, this needs to be just a little bit darker. I'm going to take all of this yellow, make that green. I'm going to take just a tiny, tiniest touch of black just to make it a little bit darker because right here, look at that, it was almost the same color. It's almost the same color and I don't want it to be the same color. I want it to be a little bit darker. Now I'm just going to get close to all those lines that I put on my bear. Doesn't have to be neat again, it can be all messy. This is a jungle, so I'm making it all green behind, and then we're going to put bamboo, bamboo on there. That's going to be fun. Panda bears eat bamboo, I think. They eat bamboo shoots. Not 100% sure of that, so you guys could look that up on the internet. See what, ban what panda bears eat. There we go. Now the background's all colored in. I try to make that as neat as I can, but it doesn't matter if it's not neat. I'm going to show you guys a really cool trick on how to make this bamboo. So easy. Okay, maybe I could take some of that dark stuff up while I got it and go right down in here. Just so he looks like he has a shadow. I'm just tapping that in underneath his feet. 
and then stopping underneath this foot. Just a little bit of dark right there. That kind of looks like his little bear shadow. Okay, so with your medium sized brush, that's that one that's just a little bit smaller. We're going to take um, the rest of this green and we are going to add um, some more black to it. So we're going to have a really dark green. Take all these colors. Well, it's not black. It's a really, looks like one of the darker shades in the army green. Hope you guys can see that. So with this brush, we're going to draw lines down. So I'm going to do a little bit of a line, stop, make a little gap, make a line and stop. It's okay if it pulls the paint away because it's going to make it look like, and it's going to be in a straight line, line, stop, line, stop, stop right at the edge of where he's sitting. You see all the little breaks in here, all those little open spots. Those are important. We're going to leave those. Okay, line, stop, line, stop. Oh, and then it goes right behind you, Bear. Maybe this one's going to be different. This is going to be one big line. And maybe a little line here. And then over on this side, line, stop, line, line. Make it in a straight row. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect, but try to go as straight as you can. There. That's pretty cool. All right. Now, here's the fun part. This, we're going to make these little lines here. That's like um, little joints. Bamboo has little joints inside of those, and that's done with black. So I'm going to take my brush and roll it around so that it's still kind of pointy. It does have a big blob on. And in between all of those little uh, breaks, you're going to go two lines like an equal sign. When you're doing math, like an equal sign between every break. And they can go past it. See how it went past it? That's good. Line, line. They could be nice and thick too. It doesn't matter. That's where the, um, the green stuff is going to go, all the leaves. And I even like that we're doing this wet and that the paint is coming off some parts when we're doing it. Because it looks like we actually tried to do some shading. So you guys see right here, when we did the bamboo and I pushed hard because my background is wet, it pulled it off and it looks like I painted that, uh, that in there so it's got different um, colors inside of the bamboo. That is perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. So you know what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some white from the edge. You've got to have some pure white. So from the edge over here, I'm going to take a big blob of white and I'm going to put it just right here. Just need a little bit that's a different color. So I'm going to take that green. I don't want it to be white. I want it to be green. So I'm going to pull it in until I have a nice light shade of green. That's different from any other green on my page, on my whatever I'm painting on. Okay. So now we're just going to give some little leaves and all they are is this. I'm going to come real close right here where these equal signs are. You're going to do a line up and a line down. And then on the other side, don't do them all on the same side. If some black gets mixed in there, that's okay. Cause it's going to look like different colors in your leaves. So just do those wherever you see um, those little equal signs. Some of them can be on the same side, but don't put them all on the same side. And sometimes you're not even going to do them. It's your painting. You do whatever you want. They don't have to be too terribly big. They can be fat, they can be thin, they can be really long. I'm going to make this one really long. Wow, that's a big leaf. This one might even come right over in front of your bear. Oh, that's okay. 
leaves are all different sizes in the in the nature, aren't they? Okay, so I don't think I'm quite dry there, so I'm going to take my blow dryer. If you have a big person, um, maybe your big person can blow dry your face for you because that's all we have to paint now. So I'm going to turn this light off and I'm going to plug in my blow dryer. I'm going to make sure his face is really, really dry because otherwise I won't be able to get the eyes to go black and I need that. So, taking my little brush, I'm going to go to my black, and I'm going to start with his nose. Make sure you leave lots of room for his eyes, but you're going to draw a little oval right there in the middle of his face. A little black oval. And you're going to draw a line right down in the middle, not too far, just a little bit. Don't draw it way down there. And then you're going to make um, a smiling W. Okay, so you're going to go, ooh, start with that line and go, ooh, there you go. Now you've got his mouth. Whew. Okay, I shouldn't have worn this heavy sweatshirt. The sun came out and I'm very, very warm. So we're going to draw two big eyeballs, two big black, and they're kind of going to be like egg shape with a smaller part at the top. And we're going to leave a little space in between them. So I'm going to draw like an egg. And then I'm going to try to draw the same shape over here. Like another egg. There, that's pretty close. They're not exactly the same, but they're very close. And then we're just going to color those in. Don't make it really, really thick because you need to do the blow dryer again and you want this to dry fast. You just want it to be black. So if you've got globby lines in there, smooth those out so that it's nice and thin. And it will dry faster. And my next painting, if you guys are going to continue watching, if you guys watched Finding Nemo, do you remember that little dude, the turtle, the little, the little dude turtle, the baby turtle? We're going to be painting that one next time. All right. Forgot I need a line right here too, so I'll go over that with black. There we go. Okay, now I have to get the blow dryer again. Those need to be dry before we put white on. off my brush, my round brush, wiggle it around the water, put it on your paper towel. So when you go back to your paper towel, if you wipe it off and no color comes out, 
Then your queen, I'm moving the green there. Okay, got that all cleaned off. We're gonna do now this white circle right here, this big white circle, and then we have to dry again. There's lots of steps to this eyeballs. Okay, so now we're gonna take right up at the top, we're gonna draw another big circle. See this big circle? And then color that all in white. Really thin. We're going to give this two coats, all right? So we're going to dry this. So it doesn't even go white. Because I didn't put really thick paint on. I want it nice and thin because it's got to dry. Right in here at the bottom, too, just give it a little circle, a little smile circle there. It's going to be a little bit of a shine. All right? Put your brush down, get the blow dryer, dry those white parts. See how fast that was? Because it wasn't really thick paint. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to um, paint the black circles again. So now I've cleaned my white off my brush. I'm going back to this round brush and I'm going to take black. And right here, I'm going to draw an even smaller circle. Okay. And over here, draw another smaller circle. Try to keep these the same size. It's okay if your bear has googly eyes too, and they're not quite the same. That's okay. If you don't like that white line that's in there, you just need to go over it with the black and then it's gone. So clean your brush off really well. Get your big person to blow dry the black parts again. See how fast it is if you don't paint it really thick? That's the trick. Okay, clean your brush off. We're going to go back to the white and we're going to make those white parts whiter. And you see how it's it's bigger down here, the white? It's like a half moon, like a big smile, but upside down. That's um, that's good. That's what gives them that savin look. Okay, clean the white off your brush, go into your black, and now you're gonna make your black just a little bit darker because we did it so thin last time. Okay, only thing left to do, you guys, we're almost done. We're going to give him some highlights on his eyes to make his eyes sparkle and his nose. They all have to be on the same side. So you can't do one on the left side and then this one on the right side because it doesn't work. So the shine's going to be all on the right side, the right side, and the right side of his nose. So using the little round brush, you're going to put white on the tip and you're just going to Touch right at the top corner, gonna to make a little polka dot, go back in, get some more paint. On the right side on that one, you're gonna give him a polka dot. And on the right side of his nose, a polka dot. Isn't he cute? He's adorable. And then you can just sign him. It's all done. You can sign down here, you can sign here, you can sign on his foot. Maybe I'll sign on his foot this time. Tammy. And there you go. That's your panda bear painting. So moms, big people, if you want to keep getting videos like these, 
you can stay on my page and pick them up. But once the coronavirus is done and we get back to real life, my YouTube channel will still be posting these um, new free kids videos. So you can grab them there. So please subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next week for Finding Nemo's Little Dude. All right. Bye, guys.